So what they do, like on your blog, I do not focus on my my published stuff because I don't want to be the kind that's always talking about it. So I have a side part, a side book in the blog, and it has my has my three books there, and then people can hit on that. It goes right to Amazon, and then they order that way. Yeah, thank you. Great next question. <laughs> uh, okay, so all along I'm still every once in a while, not very often, but as my kids got bigger. I started having time to go through my file drawers and I reread Birds of Paradise. And I'm like, oh, you would like this story. And I love the illustrations. But it's still just Christmas cards back and forth to Shelley. And it's hard when someone doesn't do email. Plus, we're busy. So I wrote another book. And in, in between, I was going back and forth in, in, in uh, different coasts. And then I found this quote by Madeline Langle. And a lot of you recognize her name. She wrote the book, A Wrinkle in Time. And it was one of, to me, one of the first, what they would call YA, or young adult books, that took off amazingly. Very, very different. I think with her, it sort of began the whole idea of young adult books, of a YA, which is a huge segment of um, published books now. She, I, I read a lot about her, because she also wrote journals, like The Summer of the Great Grandmother, and she wrote about writing, and she wrote some great adult fiction, as well as other children's stories. She um, inspired me, because she knew she wanted to be a writer. She wrote this book, A Wrinkle in Time. She sent it to so many publishing companies. At that time, you sent your book to publishing companies, just before agents were the big thing. But she started decorating her writing room, has wallpaper every rejection and I think the count was like 157 it was an amazing amount of rejections and yet you know what she still believed in herself she still kept on writing 